You know how I said I was going to give you guys the gist of how I almost slept outside in my first week in Baltimore? This is the video. Welcome to the second part of our movie vlog. Um, I don't have internet and you guys forget how I look. It's been a few hours. Um, I don't have internet and I'm at the apartment right now. It wasn't really far. I think the last time I updated you guys was when I was at the airport waiting to charge my phone a little bit so I can get a cab to drive down to or drive me down to Baltimore so it wasn't that far it was an hour an hour's 20 minutes at most but guys the most unexpected thing happened so I got here and unfortunately there was nobody around right so you guys it's not like um I just moved and I didn't make arrangements. We talked, okay? I was supposed to move in on the 12th, I believe. I think it was on the 12th. That was like the initial plan. And some, somewhere around 12, 13, 14 or so. And then my pre-employment screening thing was, it's on the 10th. And I think because of step three or something that was 13 and 14. So I just figured, you know what, I might as well come a week earlier. So because my plan was to come when I wanted to come sometime around 13, 14. And then to, I would have spoken to them that I couldn't make it in time. Can they reschedule the screening thing? Because it wasn't even orientation yet. But then when I realized that, oh, I mean, I had step three and it was OK. Like I could come in earlier because of step three mostly. So I just figured I could come in um, before 10. So I called the apartment, we talked. And I remember the lady telling me that um, my apartment wasn't going to be ready for this earlier, but that there was somewhere else, which thankfully it worked out because the new place was better than the place I signed for. So it was now like a blessing in disguise. I'm like, oh my God, thank you. Because it was like all the things that I wanted in an apartment that is fairly better cabinets you know the wooden floor not the rugs and everything so it just felt like oh my god okay thank god this thing happened and i got the apartment i really liked like the kind i really liked that is very close to it so because the first apartment i really settled because it was just like oh let me just stay here for a year i couldn't like i didn't want to splurge an apartment because rent is not cheap and there's a limit to my salary that i want you to spend on rent right i don't want to just like pay to have like a fine house where i'm going to where i'm staying in the hospital more hours than i'm staying at home and they just pay rent and like anyways that was just like the story so i remember the lady telling me that oh, since i was moving on tuesday on saturday the 8th that the lease couldn't start on the 8th like because um it is not business it's not a business day like so my lease had to start like on 7th which was fine so the lease should start on 7th and i'm moving on the 8th so i think that's what we talked about this that's what i remember and then I signed the new lease and there's like a way they calculate the thing. So since I was I was going to stay two weeks of June initially and now I'm staying three weeks of June. So I had to add to the rent that I had paid. So I think I paid like extra like 194 but by the time they added the commission from the card and everything, it was like around 201 just for me to come in like four days earlier, you know, which was good. And then I arrived today and I see an email from somewhere someone on the lease um this office team that um you know what am i arriving today blah 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 i'm like i'm not arriving today i'm arriving tomorrow and i don't know what time look i'm coming to washington at five ish which i think i came in around six because we left an hour later from cairo so i'm coming in at this time and i don't know how long it's going to take me to move from immigration i don't know how long it's going to, it's going to take me to get to baltimore but you know this is these are my plans and then I see a message from them saying that, oh, they are two minutes away from closing time so that they, I have to pick up my kids on Monday. And mind you, I bought it at this time. So I didn't see this message until I arrived in Washington this morning. So I was like, okay, so am I going to sleep? So I try to, I, I see some residents. Like, of course, it's locked because they don't just let anybody in. They said, oh, that you know, nobody, because I think a friend of mine, like one of my friends, had, asked about the apartment like is there somebody going to be there to receive and i'm like oh i mean it's like a, a management it's like a building there has to be somebody even if it's a janitor like well, that was like my own mindset so i didn't cover base with that so i met to like two nice people and they said oh like you don't even see one person on, on the weekend so but there was like at the desk there was like a phone number which was like number business didn't talk to them so i called that number i waited um the person i spoke to apologized and apologized but mom your apologies is not helping me 
So she said she was going to try to like communicate with them. Maybe they will call me back. I said, okay, I don't have a phone number. So they, they should email me like we've been talking over email. And then they did. And then they said that, oh, they're sorry for any miscommunication and inconvenience, confusion, that I have to pick up my keys on Monday. I'm confused. So I'm like, okay, fine. Let's even say I come on Monday. Monday is the 10th. So did I really pay $200 to move in two days earlier? Really? I would have stayed in a hotel for $200. I wouldn't have changed my initial date and everything. So uh, I emailed them back and I said, look, I'm sorry. Like, and I didn't say I'm sorry. I said, I wasn't told that I couldn't move in on a Saturday, right? Like, if you guys had told me, either I would have adjusted my flight, I would have made alternative plans, I would have maybe asked someone to pick, it, pick up my keys on Friday. Like, I wasn't told, right? And that, wait, does this, does this mean that there is no one person who can come give me keys today? So the message wasn't, like, replied for a few um, minutes. And mind you, I've met, like, the nicest taxi guy. Like, I've met nice people, or, see, from the customs, the guy that attended to make customs, to the porter, to the guy who helped me get, get a taxi, to the taxi guy, they've all been amazing. So now this taxi guy obviously has to go work. But then he says, I can't leave you out here on the streets. I can't drop you here with your bags. So I'm going to wait with you. So he was even the one carrying me down. Me and I was that feeling bad. Ah, I'm wasting somebody's time. In. This is taxi business. Time is money. So the guy says, no, he's going to wait with me. So we are together. We're trying. He's calling some of his friends. Because he's a black guy from Benin Republic. So he's calling some of his friends. Asking me like, if there's anybody that can host me. And then on the side, we're checking for cheap accommodations. And mind you guys, I don't have money. Like... I didn't come with money, just enough to call my taxi. Story for another day. Somebody offered, like all of my co-residents offered to, you know, help me survive till we get paid for the first month, right? So anyways, it was, the money thing was going to be figured out when I arrived. And so, it, okay, fine. So maybe I could call, I could get money from home, something. Let's look for um, hotels or Airbnbs that are cheap, affordable for two nights. And then the check-in time, is, Three o'clock. So I email one of my former outgoing chief residents who is moving up next week. She's staying in the same building as like the same building. So I email her, like I try to explain to her that this is what has happened. Can I stay with her for two days? And then because at this time I'm desperate, I need to find somewhere to slide down. I need to find somewhere to keep my back. I need to release the cab guy. So I needed to make efforts. But that was a work email, so I'm not even sure if she saw it. I called her as well. It, she didn't um, respond. So I, I texted two of my core residents. I don't know. Now I don't have internet at the moment. I don't know if the other one has responded. I texted her on Instagram. And I texted this other one on WhatsApp. And then she's still in a hotel. But she's like, well, let her ask her mom if I can come stay with them. And then she gets back to me and she said, okay, you know what? I'm, I'm checking out of my hotel right now. And I'm moving to my own apartment. So okay, you can come stay with us. And then she's like, everywhere is scattered. I said, Scattered that she was scattered. See, I can sleep on the ground. Scattered what? Guys, I don't care. But I was so grateful, so grateful that she has never met me. We've, like, we, we've just been talking on WhatsApp. Like, we talk almost every day. And, like, it's funny because, like, this is the first friend in Baltimore, all right? And she's never met me before. And she was willing to accommodate me for two days with her mom. And so she gives me her house code and she asks me to go there and wait. Where she completes her checking out and she'll come and meet me there. She has a couch, you can sleep on the couch and everything. So I'm just busting with gratitude. I'm like, oh my god, I'm already indebted to this girl and I've not even met her. Um, even trying to order a bed off Amazon, like an inflatable bed, just for me to have somewhere to sleep tonight before I arrived. She was still the one who ordered it for me yesterday for it to come. So I just be like, oh my god, how did I? I, I, I think I had the sense that I'd won with my co interns or my co residents, mm -hmm. but I didn't know that. So, it will be this good, this amazing. So, there's this angel of a taxi driver. Now, he's taking me to meet her, like to go drop me at her apartment so he can leave. And I think we're almost there, and I see an email from management that, oh, somebody's coming to bring me a key in an hour. So, I'm like, okay, I mean, I better sit back here in the lobby. Um, because I have bags, like if I didn't have bags, I would have continued to go be with the girl until this week came. But I have bags, so it was just easier to drop me and I sit in the lobby and wait for them. Even if they take two hours, at least they are coming and it's still morning. So yeah, that's how 
God just came through for me this morning, really. So I texted my friend and she said, okay, just keep me posted, you know, if anything. Um, so maybe I might walk down later to go see her because her apartment is not so far from here. But at least I can move my bags in. I can't sleep somewhere tonight. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do about Wi-Fi, um, internet. Wi-Fi is internet. Charging, because I don't have the adapter. I was going to order it off Amazon, but the last few days have been somehow. Anyways, so that's the story of my my first morning in Baltimore. It was already going to go south. Like, it was already, already going south. But thank God for these angels that he sent to me. And thank God for the people who are coming to, for the lady who's coming to bring my key. At least I feel better already. I feel so much, so much better already that well, somebody's coming to bring his keys. Because really, did I not pay $200 for two days? Like, I can't go to a hotel. Yeah, so I'll keep you guys posted when I finally enter the apartment. And who knows, I'll probably do a house tour. And it's going to be an empty house tour because before the apartment gets furnished, it probably takes six months. <laughs> because I checked the public prices of, of couches. They are not cheap. So I'm going to give you guys an empty house tour on, yeah, my Baltimore apartment. Enough. I'll see you guys later. The next video will be about how to find house in the US, especially if you're like me, you know, first time renter, first time in the US, no family to spend a few days with, no money for hotel or Airbnb. So I'm going to be exploring some of the questions you need to ask when you're doing your online viewing and everything, you know, all that good stuff. So I'll see you guys in my next video.